Hi, welcome to our telehealth video information service. I'm Garvin, and this video is on Ovitrel. So what is Ovitrel used for? It's used for stimulating the release of eggs or ovulation in women, having treatment for infertility caused by problems with natural ovulation. It's also used for stimulating the final maturation of eggs in women, having IVF or in vitro fertilization treatment. So how does Ovitrel work? Ovitrel injections contain the active ingredient choreogonadotrophin alpha, which is a synthetic version of a natural sex hormone called chorionic gonadotrophin, or HCG. It is used together with another hormone called follicle stimulating hormone, or FSH, in the treatment of infertility in women. Normally, in the ovaries in women, FSH increases the number of growing follicles and stimulates their development within the follicles and the developing eggs. FSH also increases the production of estrogen and under the influence of this hormone, the largest follicle continues to develop as the amount of estrogen in the blood increases. This triggers a surge of LH which results in the release of an egg from the ovary or ovulation. This medicine is used to stimulate follicles to mature and ovulation to occur in women who are having difficulties getting pregnant due to problems with ovulation or who are having in vitro fertilization treatment or IVF. Firstly, follicle development is stimulated with FSH treatment. Once the follicles have developed appropriately, one injection of Ovitril is administered. The choreo gonadotrophin in the ovitril injection mimics the action of luteinizing hormone. It is given to cause the release of eggs from the ovary in women who have problems with ovulation. These women are recommended to have sex on the day of and the day after having the ovitril injection. The injection stimulates the final maturation of eggs in the ovaries of women having IVF. For these women, the eggs will be collected 36 to 40 hours after the ovitril injection for fertilization in a laboratory. Treatment with Ovitrel is only given under the supervision of a specialist trained in the treatment of fertility problems. The injection is administered under the skin or subcutaneously. It's to be used with caution in women at risk of blood clots in the blood vessels or thromboembolism, for example, deep vein thrombosis or pulmonary embolism, for example, due to personal or family history. An Ovitrel is not to be used. There's a number of categories. So women with tumors of the pituitary or hypothalamic glands in the brain, women with breast uterine or ovarian cancer, and women with active blood clot in blood vessels, for example, deep vein thrombosis, and women with vaginal bleeding of unknown cause, with ovarian cysts or enlarged ovaries, not due to polycystic ovary syndrome and women whose ovaries are not functioning properly and that are blocked fallopian tubes unless having IVF women with a physical defect of the reproductive organs so the uterus fallopian tubes ovaries and women who have had premature menopause or hysterectomy women with uterine fibroids that may cause problems with a pregnancy, and women who have had an atopic pregnancy in the previous three months. <clears throat> also, this medicine should not be used if you're allergic to one or any of its ingredients. So tell your doctor or pharmacist if you've previously experienced an allergy. If you feel you have experienced an allergic reaction, stop the medicine immediately and contact your doctor. Regarding pregnancy and breastfeeding with Ovitrel, this medicine must not be used in women who are already pregnant or breastfeeding. So the main side effects of Ovitrel would be pain, bruising, inflammation and itching at the injection site and headache. Mild to moderate overstimulation of the ovaries causing the production of many eggs and tiredness and disturbances of the gut such as nausea, vomiting and abdominal pain. And rare side effects would be severe overstimulation of the ovaries, causing production of many eggs, breast pain, depression, diarrhea, irritability, and restlessness, 
and very rarely you could get allergic reactions. So how can this medicine affect other medicines? It is important to tell your doctor or pharmacist what medicines you already taken before you start treatment with this medicine. Similarly, check with your doctor or pharmacist before taking any new medicine while having treatment with Ovitril to make sure the combination is safe. The presence of this medicine in the blood can cause pregnancy tests to give false positive results for up to 10 days after having the injection. So you need to bear this in mind. That brings this telehealth video to an end. If you have any questions, you can leave them in the comments below or contact me through the website mytelehealth.info or call into us at Lynch's Pharmacy, Douglas Cork or ring us at 021 436 to find out more. Thank you for watching. Stay healthy and stay informed.